Hello everyone, it's Elijah with Financial Anatomy, the place where you learn how to take control of your financial destiny. On this video, we're going to be talking about the Cash App and how you can withdraw from an ATM using Cash App. So right off the bat, you're going to need your Cash App card in order for this transaction to even take place. So if you don't have one, you want to take a look at this video on how to order one. In this video, if you have an interest in setting up or changing your PIN number associated with your Cash App card, we're going to assume that you already have a Cash App card and move forward. So let's get the obvious thing out of the way. Yes, you can withdraw money from Cash App using the ATM, but there will be some fees associated with it in certain circumstances. Right off the bat, you're going to have the standard ATM fee that whatever the ATM owner is charging you, which is usually around two to three dollars, but you will have an additional fee charged by Cash App. This is something you need to keep in mind, but there are ways you can get the Cash App fee waived. There is a way that you can eliminate all ATM fees when withdrawing money from Cash App. This includes the Cash App fee as well as the ATM fee that you're charged by the owner of the ATM. All you need to do is receive more than $300 worth of qualifying direct deposits into your Cash App. The way it works is every time you receive a direct deposit that fits this standard, the period to which you can receive free withdrawals from ATMs is extended an additional 31 days. The key thing to note here is that you do need to be receiving frequent direct deposits that equal more than $300. But if this is set up, not only can you get the cash app fee waived, but you can also get reimbursed for ATM fees. That means that whatever fee that the owner of the ATM is charging, you will actually get a refund for it. The final thing you wanna keep in mind in regards to using Cash App at an ATM is the cash card limits. You can see on the screen the current cash card limits in regards to pulling money from your Cash App account. It's $1,000 per day, $1,000 per ATM transaction, and $1,000 per week. Now that that's covered, let's briefly go over exactly how would you withdraw money from an ATM using Cash App. So you insert your Cash App card, then select your language if it's necessary, enter your cash card PIN number, and then click you would like to make a withdrawal. After this, select the checking option and select how much you want to withdraw. You'll then be told that you'll be charged a fee for this, the transaction will be approved, and the money will be dispersed. Keep in mind that you do need to have money in your Cash App account, at least more than what you withdrawn in order for this process to go smoothly. Another way that you can make a withdrawal from your Cash App account that's actually free is to get cash back when you buy something from somewhere that allows cash back to happen. So for instance, I'm shopping at Target's right now, getting some uh, supplies for one of my units on Airbnb. It asks me if I want cash back, I say yes. It asks the amount that I'm requesting, which in this case is $20 to my grand total, and I pay for my items, and I get $20 cash back. In this case, I didn't pay any fee because it's cash back. So this is a way of getting money out of your Cash App account, technically for free. And there we have it. That covers the process of how to pull money out of your Cash App account using an ATM. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you have an interest in signing up for Cash App and you haven't done so yet, you wanna check this video out that gives a visual demonstration on how to do so. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and give this video a thumbs up if you found value in it. I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to get out there and take control of your financial destiny.